In this video we're gonna reveal Russian MBT BR of 11.0 TAD BVM in New War Thunder update Red Skies. Other nations top tier tanks and jets also got moved to this BR. Which will bring tears of joy to some of 9.7 players that were suffering from full up tier battles. Firepower wise almost every Russian top tier received a brand new shell with additional 100 millimeters of pen. So far I didn't feel the difference. You're still gonna have to shoot at weak spots of NATO tanks that you're gonna play against. Uh, most of the time two or three shots required to kill them frontally. And even with this brand new reactive armor, if enemy pens us to our weak spot, of course we'll be single tapped out of the match. 80% of the time. We have standard autoloader with 6.5 seconds, which is bad against aced NATO loaders. There is a new reactive armor on frontal top plate of our hull that even 26 can't pan. I already talked about it with details in my previous video. BVM has a really good acceleration and top speed that allowing us to take critical spots before others and we have normal reversal speed that we got from T80 that also increases our survivability. BVM also received an amazing turret rotation and barrel lift speed that can allow us to reflex fight against NATO tanks. There is still usual problems with this tank such as bad vertical guidance combined with low silhouette that makes it almost impossible to play from behind of the hill. And our little crew amount combined with bad ammo pack placement that get in a single tapped out of the fight. But I can easily say it's not OP but it's the best top tier Russian tank indeed. It is really comfortable to play with it and it can compete with NATO top tiers. That is all about this tank, have a good day and enjoy the gameplay. We have a guest. Hi there. Hi there. Where are you going? What's up with the drop? Oh. My scope was a bit not adjusted okay just die please okay come out there it is can i even kill him let's try oh crew knocked out beautiful Also guys, when I'm trying to record these battles, I noticed that matchmaking is completely destroyed. There are so many Soviet players right now. The matchmaking system is completely broken now. Beyond ridiculous. Damn it. You're going down. Sneaky, sneaky, oh la la. Poor Abrams. Damn, Russia is against Seven Nation Army. Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me back. Okay, there was a good camping spot. Or maybe I should dive into the city. I would have dive into the city if it was a daytime. With this tunnel vision, I rather camp.
I'm just gonna park here and get some side chats, I guess. Like that one. Or maybe that one. I'm sorry guys, but this is a night map. Let's just finish it quickly and go to the next one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost all of the team is in the hangar now. <laughs> Good decision. I was telling this before, Gaiji needs to add a check mark if you want a night battle or not. Just like they did to the map selection thingy. I mean, this is just disgusting. I don't know. Is Russian bias back? I highly doubt it. It's balanced. It's all about identifying the tank. So uh, if you watch my dev server, you know, armor penetration thingy. What did I said? If Leopard 2A6 shooting at you. So now Leopard 2A6 is, needs to identify what T version of the tank it's shooting at. If you shoot at the T90's turret, you will not pen. But you can pen the hull. But if you shoot at the T80 BVM, you can pen the turret. But you cannot pen uh, the upper plate of the hull. I guess being in T80 BVM gives this kind of advantage. Because usually when I play with Leopard 2A6, I have the highest pen. I don't need to aim anywhere. I'm just shooting at the hull and getting the ammo pack or the crew of the T tanks. But now, if I'm gonna shoot at this uh, location, it's not gonna pen. Which kind of bamboozling the German players. It's actually quite similar what Americans did to their Sherman tanks. Jumbo was same as Sherman, but it had a thicker frontal hull. So Germans were like, what the hell, why we cannot pen that? Same thing is here. Russians added a troll armor at the top plate. And now Leopard 2A6 players, oh what the hell, why I cannot pen that? Same, they're saying the same thing. So guys, that's it. Don't forget to check the other reviews. Bye.